Hello everyone, this is Stuntra Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Marvel Legends Retro Spider-Man Black Widow, I meant Black Cat figure. So here is the old Retro Spider-Man TV show logo there with the Marvel Comics logo. You get that billboard picture of Black Cat uh, from the 90s TV show. And nothing on the top, bottom, or sides. And here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And here's that same picture of Black Cat from that billboard. And you get that same Spare Man logo. And then here's the UCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of the packaging here. So first, let's go over accessories. So first, we'll go over the cat. So it's all painted black. It's the same mold from the uh, Goose Cat from the Captain Marvel figure. Um and Nick Fury, um, the only difference is it's black and it has green eyes instead of blue. And yeah, I do have Goose, but I'm not gonna do a comparison at the moment. So yeah, I can't find it at the moment. So yeah, there's that. Uh, and then we get this new whip, which I actually like a lot. It's very flexible. It's not like stuck in one place like the other one. It's like almost like an actual whip, kind of. It's very, like you just swinging around and it's kind of acting like one. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's very, very flexible uh, plastic. I like it a lot. And then the like little texturing that they have over around the rope part is pretty cool. It's painted white. And you get this like little claw piece here where it's all gray. Uh, it's pretty soft plastic so you can bend it. It kind of looks like Wolverine claws kind of. Um, but yeah, that was cool. And then you get this black handle. So yeah, there's that. And I actually like this whip a lot. It's pretty cool. And yeah, there's that. And that's all we got for accessories. So it's here. here's a qu close look at Black Cat here. So she has that old fashioned 90s TV shows look. You get that white hair with, I think a little bit of a wash over the hair there to give it more depth. And then you get that mask there that we've seen from the TV show too. And you get that purple eyeshadow going on there, the eyelashes. Uh, you got that lipstick going on there. So really, really accurate from the TV show. And you get that little neck necklace thing, choker, whatever you want to call it. And you got, see there's a little bit of spikes coming out of there. So that's cool, cool little detail there. So yeah. And then, yeah, everything else is pretty much black. You get that fur around both arms, the forearms, and then also on the legs, where they do the same deal with the hair. They kind of give it a little bit of wash to give them more depth. And then you got the white gloves. This one's for holding the uh, whip. And it's the same hand that we've seen with the other black cat, um, which I'm not a huge fan of because then, I mean, I am a fan of it because it kind of seems like she's gonna, if you didn't have the whip, it kind of looks like she has another claw uh, open hand kind of like she's about to claw someone uh but yeah and then yeah that's pretty much it for that one you get one claw hand which i think this one's a brand new hand that, that we've never seen before i know that i've never seen it so and then like i've said for the feet you get that fur on the shins here and then just white boots and then here's the back for you here's the side and yeah pretty much all black um yeah so let's go over the articulation here first so her head hinges down just a little bit the hair kind of gets in the way there up same deal kind of gets in the way uh the shoulders can move out past 90 degrees there you get 360 rotation around the shoulder you got single jointed elbows it doesn't even get close to 90 degrees but it's okay you get a little bit of rotation around the elbow there her wrists instead of going forward and backward, which I assumed that they were supposed to do, but instead they're uh, side to side. So up that far, down that far, you get 360 rotation around there. Uh, same deal with the other hand. So both of them go side to side, which I would have thought this one would be going up and down instead, but no, it's side to side. Um, but yeah, and then she has a diaphragm joint at the top so she can go forward just a little bit, backwards a bit. Uh, you could get her to go side to side. You get 360 rotation around there, just like that. Her legs can kick out just that far, forward quite a bit, backwards, actually quite a bit, a little bit more than usual. 
Uh, you got a thigh cut here. You got double jointed knees. If I could bend them. So there's that. Uh, no boot swivel, uh, surprisingly. Her ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. So I think this one's my favorite black cat fair. Uh, I know there's another one from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 build a figure with the green goblin, the big one. Um, but I was not able to get that. I was pretty young. I didn't really do a bunch of collecting back then. I just got toys because I wanted them and wanted to play with them. But now since I collect them, I do have the one where you build Kingpin, but that one I just wasn't really into, especially with the whip. The whip, I didn't, I didn't like it, but what I like about this one, it made it a little bit wider so that she can grab it a little bit easily, uh, easier, um, and it's more secure in her hand. Instead, like with the other one, I had to like fit the grip between her fingers to make, it, make her just be able to hold it. Um, but yeah, uh, and I like this one a lot more mainly because it's what I've seen her with and I think is it is more comic accurate and I'm just used to seeing black cat like this. Um, but yeah, I, I like the figure. I'm just not really into the elbows. I, like right when I opened the packaging, I was very scared that I would snap it like with the all the, uh, like the silver sable figure that I've had. I bent it, tried bending it and it broke before I even got it to bend. Uh, and this, their single jointed elbows barely move. So I'm not a huge fan of the single jointed elbows for these figures. I wish they could do like somehow do a double joint for the female figures or put a little more effort into that one. Um, especially with this one, I thought they would have done a cool job. I, like it would be a cool idea to add that in for this figure, but they didn't. Um, but besides that, all the everything else for the articulation and stuff is pretty good. I understand the uh, head hinge thing can't go up and down that far mainly because of hair um but she can move side to side and stuff like that so that's good and yeah um but besides that i like this figure a lot and that's all I got <laughs>